The overall goal of this procedure is to demonstrate the proper assembly and characterization of external cavity diode lasers. This is accomplished by first finding the proper orientation of optic elements and achieving feedback lasing. The second step is to set up a saturated absorption system for tuning the laser frequency. Next, tune the laser on resonance and obtain a Doppler-free absorption signal. The final step is to interfere the beam with that of a second tuned laser to measure the line width. Ultimately, an external cavity diode laser on resonance with the desired atomic transition is built and its line width is measured. Visual demonstration of this method is useful because the procedural steps are difficult to learn. This video will start with the assembly of the external cavity diode laser. After the selection of the laser diode, lens, grating, and electronics. Wear a grounding strap as a precaution against damaging the diode through static discharge. Here, the mechanical system, except for the diode, lens, and grating, is mounted on a thermoelectric cooler. Continue assembly of the laser by placing the laser diode in its mounting hole and securing it using its mounting ring. The mounting ring should be snug, but not tight. The diode can and ground pins should be permanently grounded. Mount the lens in front of the diode and mount the lens tube assembly. After checking the pin assignments, connect the laser diode to a protection circuit and the current supply. Remove the ground